talk about the Lana lore and Dress to Impress. It's kind of dark, it's kind of creepy, and we have some new developments. If you want, you can read the entire Lana wiki over here to, I guess, catch yourself up. There's so many hidden secrets. Of course we know that there are tons of Lanas hidden throughout the new Dress to Impress map and update. We know that if, hopefully I can jump over here, that there is a Lana portal hidden just right here. And we also know <laughs> that I accidentally joined an Ibella server. Look at her, so cute, trendsetter. And we know that there is a hidden meet room with a new Lana key added into the game. But did you know that there is a brand new Lana page right here? It just says find me with the user ID because last time we checked, her diary up here just said how much she loved her job. This is the same user ID, wait. This is the same user ID as the one right here, and it leads us to the Lana Does Nails Roblox profile, which I sent a friend request and they have not added yet, but that's okay. We have a new place right here that was updated one day ago with two badges with, I don't even know what language this is. Let's put it into Google Translate. Detect language. Ooh, okay, Swedish. Unspeakable skill, but with the ability to lift me out of my misery extremely slowly. Who knew that what is uprooted can drop something along the way? No idea what that means. And then we have the vendetta. Nothing is made, nothing disappears. The same changes at the same places, never stopping. So these are relatively new. One yesterday, 2000. And as you guys are seeing this, it's the day before because I'm recording this on the 8th. And if you haven't played it yet, the forest game has many badges itself. I'm going to show you guys how to get these badges because if you complete all of her trials, you may be getting an item. I remember it was teased that there was right here, the maids unlock stress to impress item. That is how you get the Lana dress. There was also something teased a long time ago that if you complete everything, there is another item coming that was not yet in the game at the time published. So I'm thinking you're going to eventually need all these badges if you don't have them. I'm going to show you how to get them. So let's hop into the forest and let's get started. So as soon as you spawn into the game, the first thing that you're going to want to do is walk onto this bridge right here. And then you see this little peeking right here, this little in between. You want to go this way. Jump, jump, jump. And I heard that if you jump, it helps you avoid the doppelgangers that are gonna be yelling at you in the game. I have my game muted because they are just a little bit too loud. You're gonna cross over this stream here. We walk really slow in this game. And once you cross the stream, I feel like we should be putting this in like fast forward mode. Like, is there a way to, oh wait, I, I can run, I forgot. So you're gonna just run straight forward and then come over to the side here where you will see this clearing. You'll see kind of some Roblox avatars in the air. And as you can see, Innocence, Tragedy, Wrath. Once you make it to here, you're going to go into your settings and you are gonna change your movement mode to click to move. You are going to right click or tap all the way over here and it's gonna take you exactly on this invisible path so you can get the first badge. So we're running, we're running, we're running. And as we get here, you will see our first badge will unlock. Perfect, meeting ground awarded. Then you're gonna wanna walk back. Same way you walked there. Once you get back, you see this cave down here. You're just going to want to jump off the edge. Oh, not that far off the edge. Please hold. Okay, and we're back. So then you want to carefully jump off the edge right here. You guys can see there's a platform and then you want to go down into this hole. This will get you the next badge titled Letters from the past. At this point, I'm just gonna reset because it's gonna put me back to where I need to be. So once you reset, you'll end up back at the beginning. You'll run to this first ledge right here. Once you run to this ledge, kind of walk in between this creepy Lana looking figure and straight towards this tree branch. Once you go to this tree branch, just kind of get on the wall behind it and just start jumping. You can't see what's going on, that's okay, you don't need to. And you end up up here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to this gravestone and I believe this is where we take a, oh, this is not a gravestone, this is a body. I thought it was a gravestone all this time. And then you're gonna take a left. Once you see these trees, you're just gonna walk through them. I feel like there's always a lot of doppelgangers over here so I get a little scared. You're just gonna follow this path and be careful, there's a big hole here. You do not want to fall into that hole. You'll come behind this tree and you will come just ee, scooch, follow the flowers, come this way. And here is another cave with the Lana key in it. This is where you get the badge keys and locks. Oh my gosh, that was a Lana doppelganger. That's okay, at least we got the bad. We're gonna repeat those steps again. So we're gonna come back over here, go behind this tree, jump, jump, jump. 
Now where you see this, you are going to jump on top of it and then you are gonna look directly to your right and then there should be a little path right here. I'm like doing this all from memory from months ago, by the way. Um, maybe it's over, oh yes, it's right here, my bad. You're gonna run directly straight. There are a lot of Lana doppelgangers this way, so be really careful. Our goal is to get to this shed right here. Oh my gosh, she's right there, she's chasing me. She's chasing me. We just have to make it to this door. And that is how you get these badges, Symphony of Nox and the Last Serenade. Now for the hard part, you're going to want to run, you're pretty much gonna follow everybody. Everybody already knows where they're going. You want to jump, there's a lot of Lana doppelgangers around here because they're attracted to the people. So you're gonna follow everybody. <laughs> Cause I don't know, like you'll follow the flowers and that's a badge in itself titled follow the flowers. So as you follow the flowers, you are going to see a portal. It's all the way over here. I mean, I saw one, but this is the one where everybody's at. So it's going to be the easiest. But as we can see, there are a ton of lot of doppelgangers around. So you want to get on these platforms and I think you may or may not be safe. Hard to tell. Okay, yes, once you get on the platforms, you're safe. And once there's four of you, you will be taken to the maze. I already had these badges. That's how you get the final activation badge as well as the fall of the flower badge. Now, to get the final badge, the maze, to unlock the Lana dress in Dress to Impress, you have to follow the maze. And honestly, it's really hard and I'm not good at it. I have followed somebody to get there once, so I'm going to find a tutorial video and link it below. But basically, you're going to follow these pictures and the lights. So if you ever find yourself getting lost, just make sure you look for the photos. I think that the maze takes like two minutes to complete. And there are doppelgangers in this maze, so you really want to be careful oh another photo and i think that the people that i wanted to try to follow they left they're gone i always get so turned around i'm lost i'm just gonna have to link a tutorial for this part because they put a map but i don't think the map is even right once you complete the maze you'll unlock this dress right here the lana dress it is beautiful and it's got a few different items that you can toggle well, not toggle, but change the color of. And also, if you didn't know, you can click this be positive sign and it gives you the baddie nails, which you can make them real long or just, you know, default or long. We also have this questionnaire that was updated a month ago with some other badges. And then the fortress was updated 14 hours ago with probably some new badges. I'm not sure exactly. I'm not sure exactly how to get these yet. As we can see, this one awards a DTI item and it's extremely rare. If we come into this game, there are a ton of creepy paintings everywhere. As we can see, we have this really scary looking guy behind Lana. This was in the newest update. You can actually see him. Oh, this game is so scary. Like there's a lab there. What does that say? I can't read it. Don't go far deep, don't go far deep, don't go far deep. Well, what happens if we do? Lana, the one who tells the truth, the one you should trust. Vessel, you'll meet her soon. Oh gosh, is somebody down here? Apple, one innocent, one pure and serene. <gasps> oh gosh, okay. We got the badge, but we were kicked from the experience and jump scared. So we have the first badge, but not the second. We just got the tea from Haley. Thank you, call me Haley. Shout out to her. There's an upside down picture. Let's go find it. So it's an upside down picture. I think it's the one that I saw. I just didn't jump through it. This one right here. I thought it was interesting it was upside down. You jump through it. Oh, rules of the vendetta. Get rid of it. Recognize that her removal is not for the player's safety. Implement more signs of arrival throughout the game to warn players who care. Grow the vessel. Lead them into the tunnels. Don't let them come out. Grow the vessel. Grow the vessel. Let it commence. Oh my gosh. Awaiting revenge. So creepy. So let's refresh and there we have it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. What do you guys think about all the Lana lore? Let me know. Thank you. Do not forget to hashtag stay PG, stay kind, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.